hello guys welcome back to another short video on python in today's video we are going to learn how to install and use dkinter in our python application as you can see here i have created a simple dkinter window here which have some text and we have a button here and when i click on that button the text of that particular label is getting changed so this dkinter is very useful in creating guis in our python application and it is the standard gui library for python so let's get started how we can make use of this dkinter and create and create a gui applications using python as i said dkinter is the standard gui library for python and it's often included with most of python installations so if you are using windows or mac os so you don't need to install this dkinter externally but if you are using Linux, you can go to your terminal window and in the terminal window, you can type sudo apt hyphen get space install. Then you can mention the Python version, then hyphen tk. You need to write this command in your terminal and then press enter to install the tkinter. As I have already this tkinter installed in my application, I don't need to install this one. So once you get this tkinter in your application, to use this in your application, the first thing which you need to do is you need to import that one in your application. For that one, you can use the code import tkinter space as tk. By using this as, we are giving a alias name as tk. So this allows us to use tk as a shorthand for referring to tkinter class and methods throughout the code in our application. Next, let's create the main window of tkinter. For that one, you can use root is equals to tk, which is the alias name which we have given earlier. Then add dot to that one and tk. So this tk.tk will help us to create a main window. So often this is referred as the root window where all our GUI elements will appear. The next thing is let's give a title for this main window which we have created. For that one we can make use of the root which we have defined now. For that root add the property title and you need to add the open and close curly braces. Within that one add the double quotation and within this double quotation you need to add the name which you want to display for your tkinter window. Here I will add the name my first tkinter window. So now this title which we have defined here that will be shown on the window title bar. Next let's define the size of our tkinter window. For that one you can make use of root again and we have a property by name geometry. Within this geometry you can mention the size of your tkinter window. For this instance I am going to give the size as 400 by 300 so now this window will be 400 pixel wide and 300 pixel height next thing is we want to show some text on our tkinter window for that one we can make use of label for that one let me create one label variable and as we have tk we can make use of that one and in the tkinter we have a property by name label add that one and add open and close curly braces then we need to define where we want to create this label as we want to create in our main window we'll mention that root here then we need to define the text what we want to add for this label for that one add text property and within this text property i'm going to add hello tkinter so this is the text which i want to show in our label next you can define the property of this text for that one you can make use of font and within this one add another curly braces then add double quotation here you can mention what is the font you want to add then you can mention the size of this particular label now we have text for our label then we have defined the properties of that label once this is done you need to place this label in our window for that one we can use label dot pack so this pack method is a geometry manager which helps us to place the elements wherever we wish to place in our window and within this 
back add paddy is equals to 20 which will help us to place this label 20 pixel from the vertical position next let's add another element that is button for that one i'm going to create one button variable and we are going to make use of the alias name tk and on that one let's create one button we can follow the same method here as well so the first element which we need to define is where we want to show this one for that one i'm going to attach it to root then i will add the text and within this text i am going to mention as click me so this will be the name which is going to display on the button next i will add the font and i am going to define the same arial font for this one and i am going to give 14 pixels for this labels text next another important thing which i want to define here is as button is a clickable element I want to define what is the action should take when I click on this button for that one I can make use of command and within this one write lambda colon label dot config and add open and close bracket and within this one let's mention the text is equals to button clicked so here we are taking this label which we have defined earlier which is nothing but having the text of hello tkinter we are going to change the text of that label for that one we are going to use that label and for that one we are going to add the property dot config and in that config we are going to add the text which should be displayed on click of this button for that one we are going to use this command property so now we got one label and a button which performs some action on click of this button so then the final thing which we need to do here is add root dot main loop so this starts the tkinter event loop this loop keeps the window open and listens for any user interaction such as button which we have added here and it will listen to the all the events till this window gets closed so that's it now we imported our tkinter then created a window and given a title for that one defined the width and height for that one then added one label and clickable button so let's run this application now we can make use of this run option here now we got the tkinter window and you can observe we got the label but we didn't get that button so let's go back to our code and you can observe here we have defined the button but we have not placed that one in our window for that one so let's use button dot pack and for this one let me give a padding of 10 now let's run this application again now you can see we got that button and you can observe we have the text in the label as hello tkinter when i click on this one you can see that labels text got changed to button clicked so this is the interaction or the action which we have defined in our button so this is a simple way to get started with tkinter for creating gui applications in python you can enhance this tkinter based on your requirement that's it guys for this short video thanks for watching this if you like this please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel